fishing in New World can be broken down into three steps. I'm gonna go over all the nuances of every step to help you be the most efficient fisherman that you can be. The first step is casting, which is basically just getting your hook into the water. Once you get to the location that you wanna fish, just press F3 on your keyboard to initiate fishing. When you do this, you're gonna be prompted with a small menu that's gonna ask you to either cast, equip bait, or stop fishing. You don't need bait to fish, but it could definitely be helpful. It doesn't have anything to do with casting, so we're gonna get into that later. All you have to do to start casting is click down your left mouse button. The distance of your cast is gonna be determined by when you release it. You're gonna be able to cast this as far as it can go because the further that you cast your hook, the easier it's gonna to be to reel and fish later on. This really goes against your natural assumption because you would think the further you have to reel in the fish, the longer it's gonna take, but it's actually gonna be faster to reel it in the more distance that you have. To make sure that your cast goes as far as possible, you're gonna to wanna to release your left mouse button when the indicator gets to the very top. When you do this perfectly, there's going to be a little sound and the word max is going to appear to let you know that you got the maximum distance. The maximum distance that you can cast is going to be determined by two things. That's going to be your fishing level and your fishing pole. The higher your fishing level and the better your fishing pole, the further you're going to be able to cast. If you mess up your cast and want to recast, you can actually do this without losing the bait that you have equipped. Just make sure to do this before the second stage begins. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying, but there's still a bunch more to come. The next stage of the process is waiting for the bite. This process is going to take longer depending on the depth of the water. The deeper the water, the faster a fish is going to bite. A good rule of thumb to keep in mind is that the further that you can get the hook away from the shore, the deeper the water is going to be. You can see how deep the water is next to the icon in the middle of the screen. If you're trying to level up as quickly as possible, make sure you're always casting into the deepest waters you can get. The only thing that's more effective than deep water is hot spots, but we're going to get more into those later. If you want to make sure that your fish are going to bite as quickly as possible, you can also equip bait. This is going to make the fish bite twice as quick so there's less time sitting around. While you're waiting for a fish to bite, you're going to want to make sure that you keep an eye on this icon. It's going to switch from saying waiting to get ready to hook. When it switches to get ready, you know that the fish is about to bite. But don't click just yet because you're going to want to wait for it to switch to hook. If you do it before or after it says hook, you're not only going to lose the fish, but you're also going to lose the bait that you have equipped. Once you correctly hook the fish, that's when the third stage is going to begin. This stage is the reeling stage. When this begins, you're going to see a new indicator on your screen. This is going to indicate the amount of stress that your line is under. When you hold down left click, you're going to start reeling in your fish, but it's also going to start increasing the stress on your line. The longer that you hold down left click, the more stress it's going to be on your line. Because of this, you're going to want to balance reeling and releasing so that way your line doesn't break. To tell how close your line is to breaking, you're going to want to pay attention to the color of this indicator. Green means that you're fine, orange means that it's getting close to breaking, and red means that it's really close to breaking. Be careful not to push it too far because sometimes your line can break really quickly. Above the stress indicator, you're also going to see this number that tells you how far the fish is from you. Once this gets down to zero, you're going to catch the fish successfully. Once you reel the fish all the way in, you're going to be able to see what type of fish it was, the length of it, and also the weight. Okay, so that's everything you need to know about the basic process of fishing. Now we're going to get into all the extras that are going to help you fish more efficiently. First up is your gear. When you're looking at your fishing pole, there's going to be two main differences. The first difference is going to be the casting distances. Basically, the better the material that your fishing pole is made out of, the further you're going to be able to cast your line. As I mentioned before, the further you cast your line out, the easier it is to reel in your fish, so this is really important. The second difference is going to be the perks applied to your fishing pole. These perks can range from an increased likelihood of catching a larger or rarer fish. It can also increase your casting distance, make your fishing pole more durable, and increase the strength of your fishing line. Usually these perks are accompanied by a specific time of day that makes them active or a specific type of water that you're fishing in. So you're going to want to be aware of this when you're using your fishing pole to make sure that you're the most efficient as possible. If you want to get a legendary fishing pole, all you have to do is complete the fishing line quest that you get on the starter beach. The final quest on this line is going to give you the legendary pole, and you're also going to get different gear that's going to increase your fishing stats as you go through the different quests. So if you're interested in any of these things, make sure that you complete the fishing quest line. Okay, let's talk about location. There are two basic types of location that you can fish at. These are freshwater and saltwater. Each of these are going to have their own specific type of fish that you can catch and a specific bait that goes with them. You can tell whether a location is freshwater or saltwater by just walking into the water and if you can gather it, that means that it's freshwater. You can also see while looking at the map that freshwater is this light blue color and saltwater is this darker color. You're usually going to find freshwater more towards the center of the map in lakes and rivers and you'll find saltwater on the edges of the map and in swamps. Certain quests and recipes are going to require you to catch a larger fish or a specific type of fish, so make sure you're in the right location to catch the fish that you need. 
All throughout the map, you're going to be able to find hot spots. Hot spots are these splashes of water with fish jumping out of them. These are the only places that are more effective than deep water fishing. When you cast into a hot spot, the fish is going to bite incredibly fast no matter how deep the water is. These are going to come in three varieties, broad, rare, and secret. You can see how good the hotspot is on your map by these stars. The more stars, the better the hotspot. Once you discover a hotspot, you're going to be able to see the rarity of it on your map. To keep it simple, the better the hotspot, the better the fish you're going to catch. Another thing that's going to increase your likelihood of catching better fish is applying bait to your hook. Baits are going to be specific to the type of water that you're fishing in, so make sure not to waste saltwater bait in freshwater. Baits are either going to increase the likelihood that you catch a larger fish or a rarer fish. In each bait category, there's going to be three different sizes of boosts. Basically, the bigger the boost, the more likely that you are to catch the larger or rarer fish. If you have a specific type of bait that you're looking to stack up on, make sure you check the description of the bait. This is going to tell you where you can harvest that bait from. For instance, you can find firefly bait in bulrush or briar plants. When you apply a bait, it's going to be used when you try to hook the fish. Whether you're successful or you fail, your bait's going to be used. So be aware before your next cast that you may need to apply some new bait. If you're looking to really go all in on fishing, you can actually respec into the focus category. You're going to get various bonuses by reaching milestones in this category. You can see what those bonuses are by scrolling over these little dots in your attribute screen. Once you meet the required amount of focus, then you're going to unlock that benefit. If I held your focus for this entire video, be sure to like and subscribe for more New World content. My name is Marcus, aka Apostle. Thanks for watching.